Now to breaking developments from the fallout from the 2020 election. In an extraordinary news conference this afternoon, Georgia election official Gabriel Sterling debunked many voter fraud claims made by President Trump and other Republicans. The president made some of those claims in a phone call with Sterling's boss, the Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, on Saturday. In that call, the president reassured the secretary, or pressured, I should say, pressured the secretary to find votes to swing the election his way. And I will admit when I listened to the audio of the, of the phone call and the president brought that up again and I heard it on a radio ad again today, I wanted to scream. Well, I did scream to the computer and I screamed in my car. There's no shredding of ballots going on. That's not real. It's not happening. No one is changing parts or pieces out of Dominion voting machines. And this is all happening just a day before two U.S. Senate elections in the state of Georgia that will decide which party controls that chamber. And here is a live look at the campaign rally in Atlanta for the two Democrats in that race. President-elect Joe Biden just spoke here. That just wrapped up. President Trump will be in Georgia later tonight. And the president's phone call sending shockwaves through the nation and Washington, D.C., of course. And even some Republicans are coming down against the president. Our Washington, D.C., Correspondent Samantha Manning has an update now for us. House Democrats are looking to censure President Trump because of what he said in that phone call. It doesn't hold any legal power, but it is the highest form of rebuke that Congress can give to the president, aside from impeachment. In his own words, President Trump appeared to make a last-ditch effort to try and overturn the election results in Georgia in a call with Georgia's Secretary of State over the weekend. Democrats in Congress are now calling the president's actions illegal, with many taking to Twitter, calling for an investigation. I spoke with Senator Bob Casey. You don't have to be a prosecutor to know that this is a corrupt act. Most Republicans have stayed quiet about the phone call. Vice President Mike Pence held a rally in Georgia ahead of the Senate runoffs and made no mention of the recorded conversation. Only a few Republicans have condemned the president's actions. Senator Pat Toomey called the call a, quote, new low and praised Republican election officials who have worked under pressure. In Washington, Samantha Manning, Channel 11 News.